Well, folks, we made it to our first stop to get this thing full of fuel. It's running a little funny. Like, sometimes when you're mashing the throttle a little over 70 mile an hour, it starts missing, like, I'm not really missing, like, a starter for fuel like a mechanical truck would. So we got some issues. But welcome back. Part two of our road trip with uh, White Lightning. Maybe that's a good name for it. But we're kind of painted blue, so I don't know. But, uh, hey, what are you doing? Google the price of it? We just got a deal. So we're buying some fuses because the dash lights aren't working. We're gonna have to work on this thing here in a second. I gotta edit a video first, but uh, for, hey, we'll grab a tool chest. They're probably a couple hundred bucks, but it's cheaper than a tow bill. Well, we get out there ringing up and the price drops down to $75. <laughs> I was like, well, give me the second one. So we bought two of them. We'll put one in one of the other semi trucks. You find them on there. I mean, there's Chinese stuff. So I mean, it's not nothing like crazy. It doesn't tell you, but it's well, how much is it on Google? 150 on eBay. So, hey, we made a deal. Got two for the price of one. Let's pump some diesel. So it still has the fuel tanks mounted on the frame underneath here. This truck used to be like a maroon color. So we got to get to them up underneath here very carefully. Bada bing. Bada boom. And then on top of filling this thing up full of diesel, I got us some everyday diesel treat from our friends over at uh, Hot Shot Secret in here. So we'll dump some of that in the fuel. That's definitely gonna help. Every little bit of fuel treatment helps on these mechanical motors. All right, YouTube, we've made it another like two hours down the road. We're almost to South Carolina. Old big truck still hanging in there. There is a sound driving me freaking wild right now on the passenger side air conditioner part of the dash there's no ac we did find out the heater does work and the ac does blow it does recirculate and it does pull air from the outside so i think once i get the ac working I'll be in good shape but i did get the dash lights working so so i figured out that the dash lights were on auxiliary lights right there um so they're working this thing does have some like old school lights right there on the sides. I don't really care for those, but it is what it is. It does have glass lights up top, which is kind of cool, super classic. Those things would be crazy bright if they had LEDs in them. So that might be something we do. There's lights up top here that aren't working. Got me a little LED, a uh, hand light flashlight here. So got lots of lights that aren't working on the truck. I don't know if they're just not connected or if they're just not good or what, but uh. No. She, she's hanging in there. Got a little bit of blow by now. Not a lot, but you can see it a little bit. But old trunk is to be expected. Uh, these tires, even though they're got basically full tread, they're like 10 years old and they definitely feel kind of out of balance. So doesn't look like these lights down here are working either. So got some light issues to work on on the outside of the truck. I hear air leak back here somewhere pretty good one so no it's airbag or what oh it sounds like just the bags adjusting maybe I'm not sure I really feel like crawling underneath this thing right now that's for sure well guys Amber and I have made it to Florida it's currently Friday morning so far we have an hour left to go we have had no issues other than terrible traffic and my left foot is killing me on this traveling, guys. But learning how to drive this 15 speed is something completely different. That is for dang sure. So as you guys just saw, we get, made it back to the shop barely. The last like 30 miles, the moment we got off the interstate, this thing started dying. We pulled in the parking lot doing like 35 miles an hour. I think the fuel filters are gonna have to be changed in a full service front to back, but let's see what these guys think about this here unit. All right, Ryan, so we've got a bed for you. You wanna see it? I don't know. <laughs> I just got this feeling it's something real special. And they, let me turn the light on. Hang on. We killed them all, though, for you. Yeah, something's up. 
<laughs> it's up there. Where? Up, up there, the bed. Where? Oh, shoot. You had to clean it. We gotta replace some wood up there. There's like busted wood up there in the front, and stuff like that. And we got Lake's bed right here on the couch or the this thing. Oh, shoot. It might be too tall for us. Shoot. <laughs> Get out of here. I like the antique. She needs some updating. But now look, Ryan. While I'm showering, you can shit. You can walk. You ain't got a waffle stomp it no more. You can just shit in the shower. Dang, this is special. <laughs> and then if you really piss me off, there's the door. I'm gonna gotta walk the plank. You know what? This would be perfect for roller shots. Oh my god, yeah, dude. Killer shots, honestly. So while someone's driving the RV and someone else is in one of the other semis, you can be hanging out the back window. No, that's actually really good. That's, I'm not, that's we need to make it where it opens inward, maybe, or something. I don't know. Or make, make the glass where you can take the glass out. Yep. Pop out window. Hey, you thinking about it already. Yeah, that's the Look at the accent lighting up there at the top. Mm. I see how to control this here. Mm. Got the mood lights? Shoot. <laughs> Getting it right. All right, YouTube, skip ahead a few days. We've been working like crazy. We've got a lot of stuff down inside the shop. We're going to show you in just a second. We've got business expense and the 6NZ engine up here. We're going to get them unloaded. We've been having to move stuff at the same time trying to create content. has been just absolutely hectic, but we've been pumping out short content, so make sure you guys are paying attention to our short videos we have out. But we're about to get Odin. I think that's what I name it, Odin. The RV pulled in the shop here in just a second and uh, start ripping the interior out. My father-in-law, Chris, is going to be here with me the next two weeks. We're going to attempt to completely renovate the entire interior um, and get it ready for our trip to Tennessee. So, this is been unloaded and we'll get Odin pulled inside so tear it apart. All right, guys, so we're gonna get this thing pulled in the shop now. We got the business expense all parked. Maybe we'll show you that in a second. But when I first pulled this thing in the shop, parked it after a long trip, it leaked gear oil all over the ground, like from the rear axles. And I noticed it had a little bit of a leak. So that's what we gotta inspect for sure. Outside of this thing, I want to give you guys a quick little rundown of the list I've got that we want to do to doctor it up before we start tearing the interior. So, starting at the front, we're going to be putting a new 20 inch bumper similar to what we put on business expense. We're going to stick with the classic 379 headlights. We might do something to this ugly cover here, but I really like these like factory louvers. Like, this is the original look this truck had in 1988. It's going to need a fender though. You see where it might have what I'm thinking is maybe it had a blowout or something at one point in its life, but. The whole fender mount's like just wrecked. We're gonna need to put a fender on here or try to straighten this one out. But for now, the bare necessities, right? We're gonna put a bumper on it, fix these up, get the grill polished out. These rivets are in terrible, terrible shape. We'll either have to um, polish around them, which is crazy because I, get, I, thought, I would think they'd be stainless rivets, but they look like they're just regular old steel. It's like, do we leave it and just kind of let it be patina? I think we polish it, right? We polish all the stainless and chrome and everything, make it all nice and shiny. Put a new visor on it, stuff like that, but just leave it kind of like rustic looking. I think that'd be cool. Oh, yeah. We're gonna be going with some super single wheels on the front, similar to what are on the front of Brutus. I think that'll make it just look absolutely mean and beefy. We're gonna go down to a 22.5 and get away from the 24.5s. And the reason being is we want a little bit more sidewall just to make it ride a little bit better. And we really just don't need a 24.5. And these tires, even though they are full tread, like full tread, they're like 10 years old, the DOT date, wherever it's at on here. I looked at it the other day. It's a Chinese tire, which, yeah, Dyna track. 
I don't know about that. <laughs> but uh, where is the... Yeah, I don't even see the date code. I know the owner is telling us they were like 12 years old because he had it in 08 and they were brand new on it when he got it then. So they're probably older than that, like 15 years old. So this thing's got a heck of an air leak. You can hear it. You hear it? It's leaking out somewhere. Not sure. You need some new mud flaps right here. They're kind of looking pitiful. This toolbox right here is like something similar to homemade bill. Like it, it's, it looks like maybe, or it might have been like a toolbox kit at one point, but it doesn't really match their size, so it doesn't even look good. These horns, we're gonna get a hold of our boy Spencer at Horn Blasters. Just, dude, these horns are weak sauce. Like it's not, it's it's, it's embarrassing. Honestly, you ready? Yeah. This is full tilt, right? <laughs> Since they don't pull a trailer with this thing with air brakes anymore, they put it on the Johnny bar there for your trailer brake, and that's the air horns. Oh, dang. So, horns are a must. Step boxes, get this polished stainless out. I really don't like the look of how the lights are in the uh, cab panels there, so we're going to get some new cab panels. Move these trans horns underneath it somewhere and get some just nice big horns, um, cab panels to go right there, some new step boxes. We're working with our friends over at Four State Trucks. Shout out to the boss man, Brian. Um, now onto the outside, right? So it's gonna need paint. And also a piece of plexiglass right there instead of glass. So we've gotta get glass put back in there eventually. It's not leaking right now, so we're not gonna mess with it. We have a trip in like two weeks. So we're gonna be doing a ton of videos on this thing. Maybe if you will, it starts in between, but we have so much to get done on this thing in such a short amount of time before we leave on our trip to go side by side riding in Tennessee with Tommy and Brian, all the guys semi casual, and Bill Rethwich in like literally two weeks from today. So outside that's what we got going on <laughs> it's just so much oh my gosh um where do i even start what oh shoot that ain't good that ain't good at all <laughs> how did that not come bro <laughs> just might as well take it off it's like riveted in not anymore from behind the we might have bought a project i think so well it's staying on there now Hmm. So I think the rivets go behind this piece of trim here. I wonder if this piece of trim comes out. Yeah, it does. But it's like, how do you get it out? All right. So we found that. We got to fix that. Doorbell. Uh, moving on. Like I said, it's got BF Goodrich tires on it, and they're a nice, beefy tire with tons of tread, but they're old. We got to find a date code. Yeah, right there. The 42nd week of 2005. So these tires are almost 20 years old, Dang. even though they have like full tread. Look in there which is crazy. My uncle Bobo with the logging company, I told him, I was like, hey, well, you know, you can have these tires on your logging trucks because they're in and out of the woods, always blowing tires and stuff, or they'll put them on a trailer or something. So we're going to have to put all new tires on the same for going on a trip. Dude, it's going to be like 10 grand for tires. Maybe not that much. It's going to be like six at least for good tires. Um, new tires. We got to do something about this septic system. I'll show you that in a second. Yeah, that right there. Look right here. They can see it really good. See from back there. Something ain't right. So I'm not complaining. This is just an overall. We knew this thing was going to be a project. Knew it had some issues. We're going to have to work on it. That plug right there so that the generator, once we get, get it running, um, we've got, that's so you can plug the trailer in you're pulling behind you. So, nice hitch there. This right here has got some stuff going on there. We're going to figure that out. Um, generator. Something else we got to do. It don't no run. Oh it don't even spin over. Oh, you said he got the hot wires unhooked there, so we got to figure this out. And this thing looks like it probably rattles like crazy, too, so oh, yeah. kind of scary. But hey, we'll figure it out. So on this whole thing, the only storage we've got is right here. Jeez. In our toolbox that I bought from our trip. Oh. You know what? We might could use this while tearing stuff inside of it. Let's grab that out. Ryan, we were at the Flying J. 
these were two hundred dollars i was like well it's cheaper than a tow bill rang it up two hundred dollars and i scanned my loves rewards card 75 bucks a piece dang steel i was like how many more you got back there so i grabbed another one. <laughs> oh boy and then something we've really got to change in the future if we plan on really keeping this thing is after i just said all i said about the step boxes we're gonna get rid of them actually because the fuel tanks are still mounted on the side of the frame behind here see that right there oh wow which is not a bad thing but it's not a good thing because we need all this storage whenever you're rving so by those fuel tanks being mounted right there all the storage has been taken up and it's just not good so we're going to get some of the fuel tanks that go right here that, were, that have the steps built over them. A lot of these toter homes have them, so. That's a rundown of our outside. Oh, and we got to do the mirrors, because these mirrors are all in, like, terrible shape. Don't want to adjust, so mirrors got to happen, too. All right, sunny boy. Let's get these here windows open. Maybe. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Ah. Okay, so our plans are to leave the walls, ditch all these terrible looking cabinets with this gold looking whatever, right? We might leave this wall here, I don't know yet. I'm gonna get rid of all this, get rid of the sink. Cause this thing needs a stove top, it needs a bigger sink cause wife and kids. And it needs a fridge other than this like mini fridge right here. You know what Ryan, if you ask nicely, you can put this in the merch room. Oh boy. So you can put all your sippy cups and juice boxes in here. Mm. This fridge don't even close. This one might fall off the wall too. Put a bungee cord on it, it'll close. All right, so, well, let's get the table out of here. Get these cushions out and uh, we'll start ripping stuff out of this boy. Oh. Hey Ryan, we come here real quick? Yeah. Uh, something used to be. Don't know what it is. I guess I, we might be careful. We might can reuse some of that wood there. Oh, shoot. That's attached. Yeah, what the heck holds it in there? Hey? A couple of nails. Oh, there we go. Wait. One table coming out. Clear? Clear. Oh, shoot. Got to let go of it. Alarm. Look how much we've removed already. That cow's quick. Dude, this stuff's in there. Holy crap. Sledgehammer. Why, yeah, y'all? <laughs> All right. Let's get this couch out of here. This is Ryan's new couch. Oh, Ooh, God. Jeez. Get out of the way. Jeez. You thirsty? Here you go. Oh. <laughs> that was so fun. Look at this. Fold out couch for Ryan. Oh, this boy's heavy. I don't think it's... Ow! Mm. Watch your toes. Yeah, my toe. I don't know how they even got this thing in here, dude. What the... No way they put this thing in here without taking it apart. Throw the That's throw. gross. If Amber would have seen this, she would have lost it. What is that, a rat? Oh, we should save it for Franny. Oh, put it on Franny's desk. My mother-in-law. Dude, she's gonna have a heart attack. Uh oh, that thing Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> stings. Oh my gosh! I'm you touched it. Oh, new toy. Good thermostat. That's a thermostat, ain't it? <laughs> Fire extinguisher. <sighs> I don't know how we're gonna sing out here, dude. Just push it out. Just yeet it through a window. Dude, that'd be gnarly. <laughs> I don't know. I don't want to waste it, but it's kind of junk, ain't it? So yeah. we got our battery powered skill saw. We just got go that get boy it. In here. BRB. You're not really a man unless you pick up a power tool and do this at least twice. Make sure it's good. Oh, God. Okay, ready? We're gonna clean up all this mess in here.
stick or something there. Getting somewhere. This thing will catch on fire first. Rip it. Hmm. Somebody's could have been somebody's bed. Somebody's grandmama all could have swept on this thing. Oh. This thing's like a spring loaded cannon. Dude, yeah, for real. <laughs> Trampoline. Well, I don't think we did T diddly squat. No. We didn't do anything. Nothing got accomplished with all that cutting. Kind of Breaking. Oh. Right here. Cut right there. Maybe that was something. I think we gotta cut the front is what we gotta cut. Oh. Yes. Broke it. I found metal and it's spicy. Careful. Out there and pull on it. Yeah. Getting all the shots. Oh yeah. The rind of the dump trailer. And stand out there to take a thumbnail. We should keep those. Those be perfect for laying on and working on stuff. Oh yeah. Better hold all of those. I'm gonna need you to dig that one back out. Jeez. Uh, oh, you are. That ain't right. You missed. Boy, it was flat. Close. Shoot. Jeez. Ten bucks, so you can hit me with that little one. Ten bucks. I won't move. Ten bucks. Ten bucks. Two to me. <laughs> oh, you missed! You missed! It went right through my legs. <laughs> <laughs> that was close. That was. Uh, I ain't gonna try that. Maybe we keep this just in case we need it for something inside. I don't know. I'm sleeping on the job now, but you can take this home if you want. I'll have to pass. You sure? Lift that thing up again? Dude, it's quality. Oh, what is that? It's death. It's death. Oh. Jeez. That was easy. It's gonna break in pieces. So, we got a mystery hole here. I think this is for the shower or the bathroom. Oh. I can't get it out. You got a knife on you? Let me get one of your keys. I'll try not to break your car key. Okay. Why you got a Hello Kitty key on your keychain, Ryan? You gave me that. I didn't give house. you nothing. Yeah, that's where the shower be. Hmm. Okay. I don't know where that goes. We're just gonna rip, we're just gonna rip wires until something gives, right? That's the way to do it. There you go. Your stereo. My stereo. This thing has surround sound in it, son. 
plugged into something once upon a time. We don't need our toaster oven, do we? I think we'll, we, we can afford to buy ourselves a brand new unit. I think we should. Shoot. Okay, we don't want to break the glass, so we'll set that down right there. It must not have been real glass. <laughs> Pexi, Pexi glass. Antiqua? We'll unscrew that so we're not destroying stuff. Even though that's not fun. Where do these wires go? They just keep going and going. Stereo. There we go. No, no, no. Dang it. What the heck? Hey, there we go. Oh, oh, it come from over there. Really? Yeet! <laughs> All right. I don't know. I'm so torn. Do we like completely refurb it or do we just like make it usable? Comment down below, guys. Do we like strip every piece of wood out of this thing, make it completely bare and start over? Or, 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 yeah. do we leave the cabinets and, you know, like make it better? Work with what we got. Work with the walls maybe we do something with flooring but for now we definitely gotta do something with all this counters this right here is like the old like control system for the whole thing there with like breaker circuitry and all that stuff so yeah. that's gonna have to go um right here's our hot water heater <laughs> and uh whatever this is plug it in while we'll have hot water running oh boy <laughs> Imagine. Definitely gotta get rid of the poo poo in the shower. Amber don't like that. So I guess we can remove this. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, I wish I would have had that on camera. <laughs> I'll just film the rest of the video. Ryan, go ahead and tell the people what we're removing next. God, What's next? Cabinets. Fridge. Okay. And this curtain. I didn't even see the curtain there. We'll go ahead and take the curtain down. Dude, don't break it. Jeez. Oh, it's twist tied on there. Sure you know what you're doing? Yeah. It's like we need to get this mattress bread. out of here. I think that's what needs to go next. Dude, just rip it. Oh, it's on both sides like that. Just pull it hard and just yank it. <laughs> this thing is rigged for me. All right, hold it, hold it, hold it. We'll just get some screwdriver. Oh, what the heck? Is going on in there? You can look in here now. Is it safe? So this is the queen size bed frame that Mr. Bobby made. How we're gonna get it out of here? And this is the fresh water water tank he built and put underneath the bed. And that's where you fill it up, which. It worked for them, but respectfully, it's not going to work for us because I would like nice hockey pucks. This tank belongs not inside the sleeper. This thing belongs underneath it where there's plenty of room, but maybe he just wasn't physically able to get to it. So it's got to get out. All right, Ryan. Somehow this thing's got to come out. <laughs> Shoot. I don't know how, but. He probably built it inside there. I don't think that's gonna work either. Maybe. Just barely. For real. Dude, this is a heavy duty bed frame. Homemade. Ready? Yeah. 
Dang. Put the bed on there and go to sleep there. I might keep it for this. We might could actually use it. All right, get this water tank out of here. Let's pick it up. Hey, man. I think the mattress has got to go out the back door, too. Yeah. It's a nice mattress. You want to take it home? Yeah, let me just throw it in my charger real quick. Score. <laughs> Want some OxyClean? Whoa. How about a jug of water? There you go. Oh. Shoot. Almost got it on the bed. Ivory of soap? Gosh, 3D to them. How about some uh, PP paper? Oh, I'm okay. What the heck? Right in the hand. I don't know how to get this thing. Oh, you know what we can use? I've never used it before in my Milwaukee like pump thing. It's at their shop. Yeah, I picked it up today. All right, come on in here. Let's get some other stuff undone. All right, sunny boy. Go learn today. Okay. So much stuff to remove. Hmm. The thermostat for these air conditioners? No way. That's for the heater, that's what that's for, okay. Oh no, the wallpaper! <laughs> yeah. Well, we may have to repaper the walls. This is the, it seems like the more we tear into it, the more I'm like, dang, we're gonna have to redo every square inch of this thing. There's gonna be rats in the walls. What? Hey, if you're ratatouille, you can be cooking us some dinner while we're going down the road. Oh. Dob, you couldn't finish that? No. Oh. A white flag. That's how you do it. All right, fridge coming out. Now that is some proper fridge securement there. Something heavy. I've been doing all the heavy lifting all day. Oh, that just hurt. Throw it out the back door. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna keep it. It's like a hundred bucks new nowadays. Forty-three. You know what we should do is mail. Look, he's seeing where he sharpened it. Mail this back to him with his license plates. Oh yeah. He'd be like, I've been looking for that. Literally, you know he's been looking for that. This is this is the type of old timer knife that old timers keep in their pockets everywhere with them. Oh yeah. Pretty cool, huh? So looks like there might have been some water damage there or something. But look at how much more room it is. Like, so we put a king bed there, a king size bed, move this thing underneath, cabinets all the way around, 
Hooper there, smaller shower there, more cabinets, decor, chandelier. We're just in the interior RV decorating service here shortly. Oh. You get, oh, we found a quarter. 1964. Heads, I clean up everything outside. Tails, you clean it all up. Oh, that ain't even fair. Okay, which one you want? Uh, tails. No, that's that's heads. That's you. I already do it. <laughs> no, you no one round. If I won, then I don't have to do it. Oh. Bam. They don't count. <laughs> <laughs> that's not even fair. It's fifty-fifty. We'll do it together. Fifty-fifty. Okay. All right. So these things are like in here, and we're running out of daylight. So I think what we can do next on this video <clears throat> is Ryan get the heck out of my way. And we'll get this cardboard. Or not cardboard. We need to remove his old TV mount there. We'll get that out of the way. And then uh we'll get this. There's like really inspect this area up here because there's some rotten wood. It because it got such a long extension on it. That's what I was thinking. Just having to do all the extra torque. Okay, bam. I'm out of here, home. Dude, we've removed a lot of stuff out of here. It doesn't even seem like it. That just pops right now. Okay. It's starting to smell funny. Ooh. That don't look good. Oh heck no. Look at the mold. Yep, I see it. Got a tree growing back there. Oh, that's bad. Oh, there's the screen for the window that's busted, so we would definitely want to keep this because the chances of finding another one are probably slim pretty, in pretty slim. Alright. More wood. You guys can probably imagine what this stuff smells like. Should we title this video? My new RV is rotten. rotten. People will start crying. I knew he was going to say that. All right, I need a Phillips head screwdriver and I'll climb up there. There is no way this thing is actually made for someone to use. Oh, real imagine, wood. You imagine climbing down this thing in the middle of the night? Eating it. Just eating, eating it. it. <laughs> <laughs> Done. I'm afraid to sit up here. I feel like it might fall through. This is your future bedroom, Ryan. Oh, oh that's not sound good. Oh, yeah, she rotten, rotten. You're about to go right through the driver's seat. She got leaks for days. Scared are you right now? <laughs> <laughs> what did I get myself into? Alright, there's gotta be another screw over here somewhere. <laughs> All I can picture is <gasps> Ooh, uh oh. Uh, I unscrewed as much as there must be more. Yeah, crowbar. I need to find the other screws that are missing up here. I can't see, I guess. Flashlight. to bend this way anymore. Oh! 
Oh boy, it's bad. You want to catch this? Or I'll set it. There's wood underneath here that's completely rotten too. You see it okay? Oh yeah. Black. Black mold! Right so I'm afraid of. I might be careful twisting that new old one two scoop. <laughs> Hit it with your pipe. Definitely getting weak up here. I believe it. Well, that looks solid there. Oh! oh throwing stuff. <laughs> that was a little too close for comfort. You like that bead I had going there? No. I need a step ladder tomorrow or something during the day. gun that likes to cooperate because this one's not oh, no. all right I'm gonna try to get over here to this corner and get the rest of this wood removed oh boy Ryan yeah I don't know about this I might fall <laughs> Oh boy. Oh my god. 